Today, Story Army, we've got a very, very special video for you. The tents are back in stock. So get your eyes on these. The Maybe. tens too are here. Look at these, look at these beauties. Brand new, fresh out the box. They're putting them through their paces right now. This is the craziest you would believe. Yeah, right. <laughs> and today is the first time all seven of us are wearing them and testing them on a new spot. These are an upgrade from the last pair, so these are TENS 2.0. So if you haven't checked them out, the link will be in the description. Today, we're testing these bad boys out. So, lucky enough for you lot, I've got a real TENS unboxing right here. Oh, this is an exciting day. TENS 2.0, trying them out for the very first day. Oh, that smell. Woo! So the reason why these shoes were out of stock for so long is because we were trying to improve them from the first version and then it's taken us 18 months, almost two years to redevelop them, find a new supplier, improve the quality of them and uh, yeah, get them back on the shelves. I'm excited to give these an official first day test up. See how they fare. Decorated. Yeah, it's the very first session. I feel like a good pair of shoes. Obviously, I was training in my previous shoes for like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So there's a long period of like getting used to one trainer to training. Yeah. But yeah, as the first time wearing them, I feel, feel normal, just like nice. happy going about my own business. Cool. I feel comfortable. If anything, a little bit more padding than my previous shoes. So. Nice. First impressions after a little warm up session, they are a lot better than the first 10s, that's for sure. With the whole demonetization fiasco, stuff like the clothing and the shoes help us out so much to be able to continue making these kind of videos. So, if you want a pair of 10s, if you use the discount code 10stest10, we'll give you 10% off to show our love for the store at Army, basically. Uh, I think I'm moving spot. Next is bed, Perfect. Main segment of the estate. If these were walls, this spot would be one of the best spots in London for sure. But unfortunately, kind of unsafe wood, not the best for jumping on. This is not to be underrated. This is a very sick find. And it's right by Old Street Station. I don't know how it's not a more popular spot. Maybe it is. If you've trained it before, leave us a comment. But I ain't never seen nothing. Uh, just found a little run around the corner. Start off with these techie little strides on these blocks. Speed step up, come around the corner, and then kind of do this weird like alley-oop tic-tac fee -fo. The problem is, this gap is not that big, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit my head or not, so I'm gonna do a couple and see. Benji's first run in the tents. There you go. How'd it go? Yeah, fine. My first run in the tents complete. A little bit of technicality, a little bit of grip testing on Tic Tacs, and a little bit of impact. Three bases covered. Toby's trying a really cool challenge. So he's got to go all the way out and up. Oi, Jesus. Yeah, Got that easy. Oh my days. <laughs> it's tough because you've got to get around this edge. Yeah! That's so sick. Nice one, bro. <laughs> With that, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I've had these like three weeks now mm -hmm. and they are, Mint. they've hit the sweet spot. Nice and soft here, but thick enough. Version one, I didn't get that front half of my foot like tight. Yeah. Like I just couldn't get it tight enough because the shape of my feet and these seem to have just so upgrade and update sorted that. Yeah. And it's good, nice. Uh, 
Hey diddle diddle, the cat played the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. I don't know if I can jump over the moon, but I'll give this a go. Oh no, he fell on the floor. Wow. We're testing our new shoes. So. Oh yeah, yeah, how's that? Yeah. How's going it going? Well. Going well, yeah. Is it, yeah, is yeah. it? That's, that's funny, he works in there, just saw us training. Very funny, watches our videos. We're famous, Bob! I'm infected. He obviously hasn't heard of social distancing. <laughs> Could be. When someone offers you a hand to shake, it's very hard to turn it down. In this day and age, just yep. if you've got a clammy hand, keep it in your pocket, you know what I mean? Keep it in your pocket, offer a fist. <laughs> Not in that, not in that way. Anyway, film this jump. Wow! Floor 10s are made for sticky! Putting these bad boys through the proper impact test with this 180. Woo wee! Floor 10s, let's go. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. From arm jump, 180ing onto these garages. Me. And a fair amount of trust in the Star 10s rubber. Much like that, that's an easy thing. <laughs> okay! Nice. Nice. There you go, right. done it. Impact test. Sick. Yeah. It felt alright actually. Really good. Oh, you filthy yeah, mother. There's a lot of impact. Wow, putting the tent through their paces, Jesus. Max is the first person to be able to tell us then, how do the tens fare with impact? That was a impact grip test tick. Really, yeah, do yeah, they feel real. good? Yeah, you think with that much impact, it would go through, but I've done it twice now. It feels great. That's so, so sick. Which we did actually include because this, uh, this sole was medium and we turned it to hard yeah. for this. So it's like an impact shoe. There you go. It's impacty and it's thick, but the surprisingly, Decent touch on it, especially when they're a bit worn in. Mm. Going. Wow, he's searching for sticks. The stick at the end of that. Very clever. That is a double, triple, mega whopper meal deal tick on the tens. I liked it. I'm excited by it. I enjoyed it. Very well done to Max Cave. You're welcome. Be careful. Thank you. We will. Thank very you for your dangerous. concern. I can't come close because we're locked down. Thank you for being nice. No, thank nice. you. Nice. 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 I take care of everybody. Thank right? you. Cheers. Thank you. Look after yourselves with thank this you. virus. Thank you. Yeah. God bless everybody. Hello. Hello. That's Dora. That's yeah. it. Got it. Got it. See you later. Fantastic, fantastic. Opening the door in these fragile times with Coronas flying around, you know. Well done, fair play. I'm doing it again. Peeled off from the group like an antisocial loser because I found a pop. Run, 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 run. Right foot. Grab up there. It's a bit hard though. And I've got to run out of it. Just got to, just can't do it unless I make this wall pop, so. Let's go, swag. Yes. Oh, yo. Hello, uh, we got 
actually the first spot that we saw when we first arrived. We still haven't been there, so we're just going to head over there now. Toby, what happened in that last run? Uh, pulled my hamstring a few weeks ago, yeah. and that last attempt there, just like felt it starting to. Oh, I could just feel it again, you know. So yeah. I just thought I'll take the one hand attempt, mm -hmm. go with that. Happy with the. Look cool, to be honest. I thought that was that was pretty sweet. <laughs> So, moving on, next spot. This might be the last spot of the uh, place. Okay, yeah, yeah, potentially the nicest set of walls is this first area that we spotted. So we're heading there now. I think we've given uh, the tens a good test today. We've done rails, we've done arm jumps, we've done wet ATs, we've done impact. Yeah, like all the things that you want in a good pair of trainers is like impact, technical landings, grip for arm jumps and comfortable i think the comfort the comfort comes after a week of training in the shoe you get you get one with the shoe and then that's when it proper like molds and shapes around your foot yeah it's always the same with a pair of parkour shoes you have that like two three session bedding in period where it's not quite perfect yet but you've got to like ease your foot into the right shape around the shoe and then it starts feeling like your own shoe but I, I, I've got good signs already from my store tens that they're going to be yes comfortable shoe who likes the new whistle over the swear words please uh, let us know if you don't like it and if we don't get any of those comments so, so, so what they mean yeah. you fucking <laughs> give us some money back you <laughs> to YouTube <laughs> See if it works. Yes, more selection of the same kind of walls, but different variety going on here. Oh, nice. Et il a dit que je devais pas la vivre, et comme il faut pas que je le fasse, je me contente de la déposer ici. I think because I'm already coming down on a down slope and then I've got to go up. Yeah, yeah. And then just got to be mad, precise and diagonal. Yeah. I would really like to do it, but I actually don't think it's right right now. Yeah, it's possible. If anyone comes and does this, there's a free pair of Stora 10s coming your way. Woo! This is just off Old Street Tube Station. If you come and do this challenge, mate, more than Stora 10s, get Stora 10s. <laughs> and respect eternal respect yeah. eternal respect stride 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 pre you get some star tens water is god oh my god that Thank you for watching the video. That was our Tuesday tens tester. If you like the look of these shoes, the link will be in the description. We don't have that many left, so if you want to get a pair before they're gone, cop them. Use the discount code tens test ten. Ten percent off. Obviously, tens are number. We are holding a competition this week for a free pair of Stora tens. Stick for stick tens. For, stick for hashtag tens. stick for tens on Instagram, and the best stick with that hashtag this week will get himself a free pair. And the stick doesn't have to be in the Stora tens. Any trainer you want. The best stick will win a pair of Stora 10s. Let's go. And uh, we're doing videos every Friday now as well, but they're only available if you sign up and click join, pay £5 a month. So thanks in advance.
Yeah. Also, guys, stay safe with the coronavirus, okay? Just stay inside, isolate, all right? Don't be outside on the floor and stuff.